Bonjour and welcome to Love Learning French. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the French alphabet. Try to remember just five alphabets per day so that you can remember it in a faster way. It will be quite difficult for you to remember all of the 26 alphabets together, so you must customize your learning style. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And press the bell icon to get all future notifications of any videos I post. Okay, let's get started. So this is an overview of the French alphabet. In this video, I'll be teaching you all of the alphabet with their pronunciation and some examples. The first letter in the alphabet is A. A in French is A. Avion, which is plane. Or acteur, which is actor. Repeat after me. A. A. Avion. Avion. Acteur. Acteur. Okay, so the next letter in the alphabet is B. B in French is pronounced as B. Banan. Or Belle. Belle means beautiful and it's used to describe somebody you consider to be beautiful. Repeat after me. B. B. Banan. Banan. Belle. Belle. Okay, let's move on. C in French is C. Cerise. Cerise is cherry or canapé, which is sofa. Repeat after me. C. C. Cerise. Cerise. Canapé. Canapé. Moving on. We have D, de, déjeuner, which is lunch, or tonte fris, which is toothpaste. Repeat after me, de, de, déjeuner, déjeuner, tonte fris, tonte fris. Okay, so next we have E. Uh. Okay, Apple, which is shoulder. Escargot is snail, and in France, snail is considered to be a French delicacy. Repeat after me. Uh. Uh. Apple. Apple. Escargo. Escargo. Then we have F. In French, F is also simply just pronounced as F. Foray. Or Fis. Fis means sun. Repeat after me. F. F. Foray. Foray. Fis. Fis. The next letter is G. Okay, so in French, there's a special rule that G in English is pronounced as G and G is pronounced as G. So, the pronunciation of letters have been swapped around. An example of a word starting with G is gâteau, which is cake, or gar which is train station. Repeat after me. G. G. Gato. Gato. Gar. Gar. So, then we have H. Ash. Iver. Or winter. As you may have noticed, the H in hiver is silent. Wheat is eight. Repeat after me. Ash. Ash. Hiver. 
hiver huit huit next we have i e il which means island or imperiable which is raincoat repeat after me e e il il imperiable imperiable the last one is a bit tricky because it's a long word but let's practice it once more imperiable imperiable now we have j remember i taught you earlier that j is pronounced as g so an example of a word starting with g is jambe which means leg practice saying it with me g g jam jam well done now let's move on we have k ka kangaroo which means kangaroo or kilogram which means kilogram practice the pronunciation with me ka ka kangaroo kangaroo kilogram kilogram okay next we have l it is also just simply l lapin which is rabbit or lavabo which is sink say it with me l L lapin lapin lavabo lavabo well done m in french is also just pronounced as m magasin which means store or mariage which means wedding practice saying it with me m M. Magasin. Magasin. Mariage. Mariage. Next is N. Like M and L, it's also pronounced as N. Neige, which means snow, or ne, which means nose. Practice saying it with me. N. N. Neige. Neige. Ne. Ne. Now we have O. O is pronounced as O. October is October. And ons is eleven. Practice the pronunciation with me. O. Oh. October. October. Ons. Ons. The next letter in the alphabet is P. P. Pa, which means bread, or papier, which means paper. Practice saying it with me. P. P. Pa. Pa. Papier. Papier. Now, moving on, we have Q. Q. Quand, which means when. Or Quatre, which means four. Practice the pronunciation with me. Ku. Ku. Quand. 
हूँ छात्र छात्र The next letter in the alphabet is R. Air. Reza, which means grape. Or robe, which means dress. Practice saying it with me. Air. Air. Raza. Raza. Robe. Robe. The next letter in the alphabet is S, and it is also simply pronounced as S. Sa, which means healthy, or sol, which means alone. Practice saying it with me. S. S. Sa. Sa, sol, sol. Well done. The next letter is T, the, tart, which means pie, or tas, which means cup. Practice the pronunciation with me. The, the. Tart, tart, tas, tas. Well done. U in French is U, uniform, which means uniform, or utile, which means tool, or it's an adjective used to describe somebody who's useful. Practice the pronunciation with me. U. U. Uniform. Uniform. Util. Util. Next, we have V. V. Ver, which means glass, or vanille, which means vanilla. Practice saying it with me. V, V, ver, ver, vanille, vanille. Next, we have W. As you can see, in W there are two V's. That's why the French have called W double V. Wagon, which means truck. Practice the pronunciations with me. Double V. Double V. Wagon. Wagon. Next, we have X, X, xylophone, which means xylophone. Practice your pronunciations with me. X, X, xylophone, xylophone. Then we have Y, Y. Y, which means eyes, or yogurt, which is yogurt. Practice the pronunciation with me. Y, 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 yogurt, yogurt. Last but not least, we have Z. Z is pronounced as Z, zebra, or zero. Practice saying it with me, Z, 
Z Zebra Zebra Zero Zero Congratulations! Now you know all the French alphabet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new. Hope to see you guys next time and bye-bye for now. Love learning French.